So I'll show you how to set up in the admin settings. And then you configure this app by setting the number of registrations needed to activate the deal. It shows you the current number of registrations and whether the deal has tipped or not. And then it has a countdown timer that shows how much time is left in the deal and the number of buyers that this deal is capped at. So there's a limit here that you can set in the back end. So the cool feature about this is in order to access the signup form and register for the deal, users are encouraged to click this blue share this deal button. And when they click that button, it pops open a Facebook share dialog box, which posts to their wall and you can control the content that's in this. So you can control the link, the title and the thumbnail image. So what happens here is it encourages users to share the deal in order to access the signup form. Now there is a skip button here because under Facebook's terms of use, we have to offer this. You can't have it uh, required to share in order to access a deal. So after they share the content to their wall and post it to all their friends, it, they, when they close that share box, it'll pop them to this screen and it creates the form. So we'll just type in, type in an email address to test this. And you have a link here for the terms and conditions if you want to add additional legal uh, structures around your deal. And I'll show you how to set that up in the admin panel as well. And you click enter this deal. So after you've entered the deal, it gives you a thank you image. And I'll show you that in the admin setting as well. And this is also linked so you can send people onto either another tab or onto your website or someplace else. But that's it. It's a really simple, super viral, super powerful group coupon app that you can run your Facebook page without paying ridiculously high fees or waiting in line for some big uh, group coupon website. You can run this yourself and you can do it right on your Facebook page. I'm going to jump over to the admin panel and I'm going to show you how easy it is to set this up. So I've logged back in as the admin and one of the differences you're going to notice now is that there's a big green link up at the top of the tab that says edit tab settings. So when you click that, it loads the admin panel, which is where you configure and set up this deal. So here we are in the admin panel and it's super easy to set up. You just work from the top and sort of head towards the bottom. The first thing you have to do is decide whether or not you want to have that optional fan gate on the front end of the app, which is where you have non fans of the page are shown that big image and asked to like the page in order to proceed. If you do turn that on, you need to select an image that's 520 pixels by 650 pixels and it'll show you a preview of it here. Then you upload a main image, which is the image that is to the left of all the different fields that define your deal. It's 400 pixels by 450 pixels. You just click browse and select an image that's located somewhere on your PC. And that'll show you a preview as well. And then you select a thank you image, which is what the users are shown after they enter into the deal or register for the deal. And that's 400 by 450 pixels. If you want to make your thank you image link, uh, linkable, just turn the link on. And if you turn it on, you have to enter a link here. And then here's where you enter the link to the rules. If you have rules for your promotion uh, around limits or redemption, um, limited number per household or anything like that, you want to just type in a link here. And you can link to your blog or some other website or, or even put in a, a notes into your Facebook page, which is really easy to do. So coupon settings. This is where you actually configure the guts of the deal. So the first thing you have is the API subscriber list ID. And this is a, a number you're going to have to get once you create an account in North Contact, which is our free uh, form creation tool, uh, which is a separate system. You're going to submit a ticket to the admin and they'll give you your, your API list ID. And it takes a, a few minutes and you just paste that in. It's just a long string of numbers and letters. Then you set the maximum number of registrations. I'm sorry, the minimum number of registrations of how many people have to register for the deal before it's valid or turns on or tips. Then you set the maximum number of registrations of how many people you want to have be able to sign up for this deal before it automatically shuts off. Then you set an end date. And at this end date, when it's reached, it'll, this is what powers the countdown timer. It'll also turn off the deal and, and stop registrations once this time limit is reached. If you run this promotion over and over again, you're eventually going to want to reset your deal counter and clear the registrations that have happened you know, in the first deal and get it ready to launch for a second deal. Share settings. This is really important for this application because when users click the uh, access the button, the blue button to access the deal, this is the content that gets shared to their wall. So you want to add a title. It's 140 characters, a thumbnail image, which is 64 by 64 pixels. And it shows you a preview here as well as up to 300 characters of text. When you have this app completely set up, just click the big green save all settings button and it'll save all your settings. And then you can click view page. And there it is. So this is the deal that we set up. 
It's that easy. You can easily run a group coupon right on your Facebook page. You don't need to pay huge fees and wait in line for a super popular group coupon site. This is something you can do. Small businesses can do this themselves and they can do it right on Facebook, which is super viral and really easy to set up. So this has been the DealShare app video demo and you can get this app and all the other apps at norsocial.com. Hey, thanks for watching.